Hello, Root here, and this is my craft companion craft supplies haul number 24. And, um. And let's see. In the total, including all of the uh, discounts and whatnot, was a twenty pound oh three. So, uh, first up, we have so these two go together. I don't want to so long to get one, but uh, yes, this is the. Uh, <clears throat> The Gemini dye brush with replacement heads. Or dye brush tool with replacement heads. So obviously, for those, it comes with a foam pad. Designed to effortlessly release paper or card from metal dies, this dye brush and foam pad is essential is an essential accessory for any crafter's toolkit. Simply place your die on the foam pad, cut side down, roll the bristles of the tool back and forth over the die to release any paper or card pieces that may be lodged within your die. Or you can, you know, do it on the uh, piece of paper or card to release the bits that won't want to come out. So this bundle was on sale for £4.99. Next up, we have the plastic folder for the Gemini MIDI. This is two pages, so it comes with two of the two folders. Or yeah. Comes with two folders. I just wanted to get one, you know, for a spare. And also, uh, one, I guess, so, uh... Because the one I currently have does have lots of cut and dents and, uh, kind of transfers onto the paper. But also, because when I initially had it with my other one, it, uh, I didn't quite rotate it properly. <laughs> Uh, this one is uh, £8.99, so more on sale. So let me show you my uh, my one that I do have, because it's, uh, it's very bad. But it's not as bad. It used to be worse. You used to look like a, a duck and bill, you know? But like, it's not that bad, but still got lots of cut things. So, I wanted to have a spare just in case. And now I've got two spares that I didn't know about. Mm -hmm. Now, I actually bought a die. It was on sale. Of course it was. Um, for £2.39, which does not these prices here are not uh, including the other discount. Uh, so I think it technically in the basket it turned out to be less. I can't remember the retail price for it, but it was it was something else. Way way more than two pound thirty nine, obviously. And it is the color your world die. Look for rainbows. I thought. Be interesting. I don't have an umbrella die. I got a parasol die. 
that's lacy kind of, but uh, I don't have a clear umbrella looking die. Or a rainbow die. Or clouds. So I thought that'd be nice. Ooh, it also comes with little raindrops as well. All that. Now it's the color thing in there. Because I, I did get the one color in the world die of the uh, butterflies. And I never started crafting when this series came out. Or is it new and I didn't realize? Well, I only did kind of start crafting nearer to the uh, October of 23. And I'm not sure when in 23 this came out though, but anyway, I thought that would be nice. And coincidentally, I did get recently a rainbow uh, stamp as well. But anyway, that's uh, besides the point. So, that. And last but not least, <clears throat> oh yeah, there was a uh, declining discount code, which I believe this, I think, was in it, but also the next thing, about, well the last thing I'm about to show you was in the discount code section, and it was 20% uh, off, so technically I got my platinum 20% off, as well as this 20% off. That's why it is, this one was so cheap because technically $499, $899, $2, uh, $39, and this next thing is $1699, which I only paid $2003, so you can see I, I saved a good amount. Because like $17, $19. <clears throat> Twenty eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve, thirty something. It would be it would have been thirty something, I think. Anyway, I can't count I do mental math. But this is what I got. It is the no, I'm just reading. The Crackers Companion MIDI Storage Bag. And it's purple. Well, here's the code. It's been a while since it's back in stock. So, very glad. It looks like this. Let me just Okay. So the inside, however. looks like this. So it's got a bit here for a machine and has this flap here. And I guess you could like rest on top of the machine and you can put the, uh, the pokey tool or like your dye brush in here as well for easy hands there. And on the lid, it does have a mesh net pocket. So I love that. I actually never looked on the inside. I just thought it was a bag for a uh, machine. So that it has extra pockets on the inside. It is very nice. So yes, so that is everything.
Which is great because currently I have the uh, machine just actually open on my desk and uh, I need to really pull it so it would stop suction coupling to my desk. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's this little hole. It's, it's an okay size of hole, I guess. I mean, it's not one or two items at least. Now, I already bought for hole number 25. It is the uh, new collection that came out. Look forward to that. Luckily, it's not a very big collection, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to buy it because I don't have enough. I've been spending too much. <laughs> anyway, so, um, uh, I guess I'm looking forward to, uh, using this. Because, let's see, let me show you the, uh, die that I got that is, has a rainbow is this one. Does he die on that stamp set? This one. So, like, Follow the rainbow. Hmm. And uh, sending you rainbows. In two settings that would work for this. I love you, like, unicorns love rainbows. I just think it's a bit weird. But I'm not really sure what it is. Eh. I mean, luckily, recently I do have a unicorn stamp. But, uh, yes, I, I got that in the, uh, the D stash bundle I bought from WJ's Crafting Corner. When I'm going to upload that, I think it's on the time to be before this video anyway. Trying to scroll. Anyway, I think that's it. Nothing else to say. I mean, unless you want to watch me put my Gemini and stuff in there. Let me just say, I am surprised it fit everything. <laughs> I wasn't sure it would fit the, uh, the uh, storage uh, pouch for the plates, but it did. I'm surprised. But at least now, it won't be suction cup to my table. I can easily carry it from my table to my bed when I want to die cut. But yeah, that's the reason why I got this. I didn't have to be at a table. Um, but yes, so I'm just gonna, I guess, put this back off to the side. But also, now that I have it in this, I can put it on the floor instead of on my table. So I have more table space if I want to. But yes, it's nice that I got an FDB because the handle is down here. I do have some space, like you know, along this side. If I needed to, or some straight space down here. If I wanted to jam pack anything else in. But yes, it fit. I'm happy it fit everything, so I didn't have to have like the plate storage pouch separate from the machine. So thank you for watching. Around.